very good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kiran Yarlagada. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Bullion Data Systems. Bullion Data is an exclusive Snowflake implementation services company. Uh, we have a primary focus on uh, data engineering, data science, and analytics using uh, Snowflake. Uh, today for our webinar, we have our uh, CEO, Hitesh, on the call as well. Hello, Hitesh. Hey, good afternoon, Kiran. Yeah. Good afternoon. For today's uh, webinar, our topic is, uh, or you know, what we are going to demo is an accelerator product that we have uh, specifically built for the logistics uh, industry. While and how we were uh, implementing Snowflake for our uh, logistics transportation customers, we have encountered with uh, several use cases uh, where you know shipments are not being able to be planned properly. Uh, you know, considering dynamically changing circumstances in the market, especially during COVID, I'm very sure myself and you as well, you might have ordered a lot of, uh, you know, stuff from e-commerce websites. And, you know, we have definitely encountered some delay during uh, COVID either because of, um, you know, shipments being delayed, uh, you know, uh, labor issues, shortage of goods. Uh, and I'm sure we have uh, also encountered going to Publix or Walmart and seeing certain shelves of uh, product uh, uh, not being there as well, which was not um, a very normal scenario uh, during, uh, you know, before COVID. So COVID or no COVID, it is very, very important for uh, companies to plan their uh, supply chains. And traditionally, uh, how the route management or transportation and the modes of transportation is done is through, uh, you know, crunching a lot of uh, numbers, looking at historical data, you know, the availability in the market, looking at like profit margins and, um, you know, route planners or transportation planners go through this in order to uh, plan their entire uh, day, week or the year. Uh, usually it is a lot of uh, Excel sheets or uh, number crunching in uh, ERP tools that they do. So what we have figured out is we wanted to create an accelerator where we're taking all the data, the historical existing, you know, future data, put it all in one place, create an, um, you know, a visual or analytics uh, that is easier for the user to take a look, uh, play around with it and plan on what is the most profitable mode of transportation they can take for the shipment? What is the best route that they can determine for the shipment? And how soon can this shipment probably reach their uh, customer? So we have created this um, you know, accelerator for the logistics uh, industry that uh, Hitesh will go ahead and uh, demo for us now. Sure. Uh, thanks, Kiran. So before, we, uh, before I start sharing my screen and talk about... Uh, the accelerator and the end goal of the accelerator that we are trying to build and you know pull the demo right. So uh, data has truly you know in the last uh, one year when we are working with several 3PL and 4PL uh, technology providers and uh, operators, we understand that you know analyzing data at every step, right from the origin of the product uh, all the way till it is delivered to the consignee, is becoming very critical to drive the profitability of. Uh, the whole logistics and shipping industry, right? So the margins are so thin uh, in certain cases, optimizing the supply chain um, by uh, a 0.5% can also significantly impact uh, the EBITDA of uh, you know, your logistics provider. And uh, apart from the EBITAs and you know all the numbers, customer satisfaction is the key when you're actually planning to do all your uh, deliveries. So... Uh, you know, we worked with uh, a number of 3PL players, 4PL players, the technology providers and all of them. But uh, we started building the accelerator by creating uh, sample data uh, for a logistics company that's uh, using their own internal fleet and then, you know, the external uh, uh, rented fleet to uh, deliver uh, shipments uh, mm -hmm. for a variety of customers from uh, the uh, origination to destination across different states in North America and uh, outside. So, so before we jump in, mm -hmm. so the typical setup of a customer is you're saying, you know, this could be like a 3PL player who's just uh, transporting 
you know, stock and goods of like any manufacturer or customer or the customer themselves can probably own the fleet as well, right? Yes, the customers probably also can own the fleet. But, you know, most of the customers, they use their own fleet or they use a third party provider for their shipments. Right. And, uh, there are a lot of uh, stock warehouses today that are uh, outsourced to companies like, you know, Siva Logistics, BNSF and all, where, you know, customers don't even uh, uh, touch their product, but they're all managed and moved around from uh, uh, the import location, whether it is in different ports, to the customers uh, through a third-party logistics provider like BNSF for it. Anyway. Right. So, so it's like I had a question. So right now in the back end, we are using the Snowflake system. Mm -hmm. uh, for a customer to utilize this logistics accelerator, mm -hmm. what is the typical landscape of uh, data that is coming into uh, Snowflake? Are we looking at different ERPs or CRMs or... Uh, what's the usual landscape of a uh, logistics company uh, running this accelerator, but in the back end, uh, you know, using Snowflake? So the data can come from a variety of systems, uh, uh, Kiran. So we have actually moved or integrated with uh, a company that uses SAP TM to move uh, products using their own uh, fleet, right? Uh, and uh, there are uh, 3PL and 4PL players. They don't have uh, complex products like SAP TM, but they have their own uh, track and trace solutions and they have their own uh, uh, track and trace EDI data coming from third party uh, 3PL players and all of that stuff. So uh, this accelerator is more focused on logistics providers or companies who are uh, delivering their own products using their own fleet or uh, a fleet that is leased uh, by a third party logistics provider. So uh, this is typically data coming from their uh, TM, their uh, uh, other uh, uh, sources where they have uh, their entire, uh, uh, what you call, delivery uh, pipeline plan. Right? So, so we are uh, basically saying this accelerator can is used for the logistics industry, but in the back end, the Snowflake system is basically touching the CRM system for the sales orders. Yep. An inventory management or warehouse system to see where the product is stocked, a transportation management system and a yard management system as well to determine yep. how this uh, shipment is going to reach the uh, customer. Correct. Correct. Yep. That's exactly true. So we have also dealt with a customer where uh, there are uh, uh, LDs. Uh, LDs are, you know, LD charges are your late delivery charges. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, a lot of product available with me that I can deliver to a customer where there is no LD or uh, I don't have a product that I have to move from a far off place. My shipment cost is high, but I have a much higher LD associated. Mm -hmm. Forget about the customer uh, reputation and the loss of business in future. So how do you plan your deliveries and prioritize your deliveries between your customers also is a key factor. It's not just uh, the cost of shipment and the margin, but uh, the associated costs also, right? So uh, I always say more the data, the better modeling that we can do and give better recommendations and suggestions. But mm -hmm. uh, we are currently working uh, uh, on this accelerator using uh, a lot of uh, fabricated data because um, uh, uh, this is, I, I wouldn't say fabricated, but it is uh, a mask data that we want to protect uh, some of our customer real information, right? So, mm -hmm. so yeah. So, uh, for uh, you know, uh, it all started with uh, building certain cool visualizations for our customers. Okay? So, where we started putting together dashboards on Power BI on how uh, these customers are actually doing in terms of uh, the overall number of shipments that they handle, the cost of these shipments, the revenue that they are generating by handling these shipments, you know, what were the overall number of delivery days, uh, uh, delivery mandates that they have handled, and how was your profit, and you know, uh, the top number of states that you have done. So there are all these different dashboards that we created for uh, customers. Mm -hmm. So when they said, hey, we love your dashboards, we understand now what is our profitability and, you know, how are we doing and how many stops are we doing and all of that stuff. People said, how can you actually help us plan much more efficiently? That's when, uh, based on the data, we can start forecasting the demand for this logistics provider. Mm -hmm. Hey, based on the customers that you have and the patterns, 
we actually foresee these types of demands in these states and so that you can plan your uh, uh, demand efficiently right so that you can look at hey um, uh, on a given date in a given state what are you looking at your forecast uh, number of shipments so that you can actually start looking at them and you know plan your labor workflow speed and everything uh, in that fashion then comes all your okay now i have your uh, demand forecasted how can i start looking at uh, will i be able to uh, uh, what do you call deliver uh, to a specific uh, location uh, using uh, less number of starts for uh, these orders in a specific uh, uh, this one do i have enough for fleet and you know will i be able to deliver or not will i be able to make money or not so we started building some models around it Mm-hmm. Then we said, okay, look at all of these and let's now start looking at your KPIs. Uh, I want to deliver every shipment with a certain X number of profit. And am I able to do it or am I not able to do it? Mm-hmm. How will I do it? Uh, because, you know, your profit again varies from your own fleet versus your uh, fleet that is coming uh, uh, from your third party sources, right? Or leased fleets. So how are you doing it? How are you doing it per state? How are you... Uh, yeah. doing it uh, based on stops and uh, you know all of that stuff so this is just uh, a sample analysis on a very very limited uh, uh, set of data that we have given but the possibilities of optimizing uh, uh, the whole logistics industry by aggregating a number of other models that we have uh, the possibilities are limitless i would say got it so this looks like a very cool accelerator here hitesh so for customers, we are basically providing insights and vis- visualization um, on their existing historical data and also future data that business users can uh, play around with it and mm-hmm. uh, you know make decisions based on that. And yeah. plus, also you know we also have features around forecasting what their future is going to look like, what is the availability of their you know current fleet, non-fleet, and also demand from like customers. At the yep. same time, a business user can use machine learning, uh, you know, as a service and mock up data to understand what is the best possible solution in order to, you know, plan his route or his shipments or the mode of transportation that the stock has to, uh, you know, take in the future. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, see, uh, the whole logistics industry across uh, different providers, uh, you, you know, uh, you have to plan, you know, logistics industry was broken uh, right after pandemic because of uh, poor planning of trailers there were a lot of containers that were stuck in long beach and you know houston so uh, uh, and then there were a lot of trailers that were actually parked inland uh, in uh, you know warehouses uh, with a number of other people so moving these trailers you know having the required manpower and all of that stuff you know those are some very high exceptions especially post pandemic but to fix that industry it took a lot of time so now a provider who has national presence and has massive fleet that's uh, moving cargo from one location to the other location constantly there are a lot of optimal ways in delivering and i think uh, the uh, you know you can start driving a lot of efficiencies when you are looking at data and analyzing the data and you know working on top of the data so that's our true belief and i think uh, some of our customers are making uh, much more uh, value when they are uh, taking meaningful decisions after looking at data and snowflake has been a great uh, uh, platform for that because of its uh, uh, variety of capabilities so we have built uh, a number of pipelines to uh, a lot of 3pl players uh, for a couple of our customers who are using and leveraging 3pl players so you get a lot of instant track and trace data and then we have integrated it with uh, uh, crm system so that you know notifications are going out to customers with the live uh, uh, track and trace information so that the products can actually be tracked by the customer in their uh, e- emails so the possibilities are limitless when it comes to how data can be leveraged in the logistics industry. Yep. So that sounds really exciting, uh, Hitesh. You know, those additional features like track and trace that you mentioned, you know, when coupled with this accelerator, I'm confident will add a lot of value to, you know, any business and, um, you know, provide great ROI. Um, because I think, like you earlier mentioned, 
even if we can optimize our shipping and transportation, uh, even by a minute percentage, I think we see a great increase in the bottom line and profit of any business, especially, you know, when the margins in the transportation and shipping industry are uh, diminishing day by day. I think using uh, Snowflake uh, data science and insights is very important for businesses to make the right uh, decisions. All right, Hitesh, thank you. Thank you for uh, presenting the solution today. Look forward to talking to you on uh, more products soon. Thanks, Kiran. Thank you so thank much. You.